Hi, this is Andy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be tackling a buffet. I rescued it from a house where it had become the toilet of two dogs and a cat. It was advertised in Facebook Marketplace as an antique and it was in horrible conditions. Poor piece, so beautiful and so neglected. Follow me in my quest to make it beautiful again. I started by cleaning it well. It had cobwebs and a couple of spiders that freaked the hell out of me. The smell was horrible. So, so after vacuuming, I cleaned it a couple of times with dish soap and rinsed it thoroughly. Look at the water! After cleaning it, I left it in my balcony to dry and hopefully get rid of that hideous smell. A couple of weeks later, I started flipping it. There were deep dents and scratches. I think this is the base piece of something. Maybe they had installed a towel holder. The base was also a mystery. Maybe this piece was connected to another piece? Who knows? I'll have to fix that. I'll start by removing that knob. It looks like brass. Look at the way they destroyed the veneer. I need to remove the piece of wood under the cover. I'd like to stain it while the rest will be painted. I hate slotted screws. I'll try to replace them with Philips ones. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and also click on that bell so you can be notified about future videos. If you want to further help this channel, there are links in the descriptions to do so. I'll continue with the process by stripping the whole unit. The door had hardware that I will not be using, so I'll remove it all. These piano hinges missed screws and had been repaired using screws of different sizes. This one was quite difficult to remove. I continued by applying stripper to the front of the doors. Some of you may think, why didn't he just send them? Well, the varnish looked really thick. Maybe it had been varnished many times and I wanted a clean surface. After removing the stripper, I neutralized it with mineral spirits and some steel wool. Then I removed the base. The smell here continues being horrible. It smells like feet, animal pee and butt. Horrible, so I cleaned it again. It was time to cut the base flush. Then sanding. I wanted to remove the exterior layer to get rid of the smell and to make the base smooth. Sanding revealed some beautiful oak. The base had these metal feet. I will not be using them. I 
I love the grain of the oak base. I hope to salvage the front of the doors, but the damage was too big. I mixed some strong putty and applied it to the big holes of the doors. Now the bottom. I sand it to remove the outer layer and get rid of the remaining smell. After sanding it, I took it outside and applied four coats of lacquer to seal any odor. And it worked. With some water-based wood filler, I covered every imperfection of the doors. Then it was time to sand the whole unit. I then proceeded to repair the top, almost all of it. Next, I stained the interior of the unit and all the parts that needed some color, including the base. After disassembling the buffet, I could get to this piece of wood. It seems to be oak, like the interior and the base, and I'd like to make it visible.
and it was oak. Beautiful. After carefully sanding all the repairs, it was finally time to paint. The color I chose was Admiral Blue. I started applying it with the brush and roller technique, but after a while I got tired of it and continued just with the roller. I decided to use the brush only in those places where it was difficult to get with the roller. This paint is premium and it does not need priming. The coverage is excellent. After the stain was dry, it was time to protect the wood. I chose beeswax. This is a handmade product that polishes and protects wood. Before reassembling the buffet, I started sealing it with water-based polyurethane gloss finish. I gave the whole unit four coats with light sanding in between. I cleaned the hinges with some mineral spirits. It is not real brass, so I'll have to spray paint them. Now, it was time to reassemble the piece. some wood filler in the joints I like this base, but it needs some legs I need to cut some recycled wood to make a solid base for the new legs The hinges and the screws received a much needed coat of gold paint, even though later I bought new Phillips screws and I didn't have to use them. Then wax to the base and new legs. Then more paint to the top. I applied three coats in total to the whole piece.
then more wax. I decided to paint the back of the buffet in satin black. Some people do not worry about the back or the bottom. I just think it is more professional to do it. And then more poly, sanding in between. I ended as usual, polishing everything with car polish paste. Before looking at the final result, let's remember the way it was. And here it is. Leave in the comments what you like the most. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.